What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Today we're going to look at the temperature system and in order to do that, what I've got is a couple of places where I am emulating the hottest parts or the coldest parts on the map. And if we pull up the map, obviously the hottest part of the map is going to be up here in the volcano. And the coldest part is actually going to be right here on the Bridge of the Betrayer. Now, I'm going to those spots or I'm emulating those spots so that you can see what the different things do for your temperature resistance. The temperature that you see displayed on the screen is going to be the same. So if you're using Hoseb's UI mod like I am, it says right now we're at 89 degrees Fahrenheit. If I run back here and stand between these two furnaces, you're going to see this go all the way up to the point where I am heat stroke like you see now, and I should end up right around 132 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, that is about the hottest spot that you're going to find on the map. That's going to be like being in the volcano. And then if we go over here, this is going to emulate the coldest spot on the map, which is standing in the middle of the bridge of the betrayer. And that's going to get down to a negative right around 64 degrees, 65 degrees. And again, that is in Fahrenheit. I know for you Celsius guys, you can figure it out what it is, but I'm doing it based off of Fahrenheit. So everything comes down to your insulation. If we come over here to our stats page, you can see temperature and you can see the resistance. Now, you initially or naturally have one point in here. The resistance is one point in each. So I have one point in cold and one point in heat. You can see I have absolutely no attributes and I'm not wearing any armor. You can see that right there. Now I've chosen a few different items to show you how this works. So if I use one of these legendary items, this shield right here is going to give me heat resistance. This shield right here is going to give me cold resistance. So if I use this shield, you can see that I go from being frostbite to very cold just by equipping it. And if I come back over here to stats, you can see I have one, two, three, four, and five cold insulation. However, the temperature is still actually negative 69 degrees. So you're not going to see your temperature bar change at all. What you need to pay attention to is what it's displaying on your screen. Are you very cold? Are you frostbite? And those sorts of things, because the insulation is only going to work for that. It does not change the temperature your gauge on your screen. So we're going to come back out here and I'm going to do this with armor first. So if we come in here and we look at the Aquilonian Scout, now you can see that it gives one and one. And each one of these says that it gives one and one. But if I equip all five pieces, one, two, three, four, and five, and we go over to our stats, you can see it actually only gives us four total bars of insulation for both of these. So I'm not 100% sure if that's a bug, whether this should actually be displaying six since we had one initially as the just passive resistance, we had one there and one there. But when I put on five pieces of armor that each say they give one resistance, it only gives a total of three more resistance. So if I go in here with four total resistance, what's going to end up happening is I am going to go down a single level in heat. So the levels of heat are basically you have a normal temperature that's when nothing's displayed on your screen there's no debuff and then there's hot very hot extremely hot and heat stroke so if i take this armor off i'm going to be heat stroked but since i have four total bars in insulation right now or in resistance it takes me from heat stroke just to extremely hot and the same thing would happen with the cold. So instead of being frostbite, 
I would only be extremely cold and I'll let that play through there. Now, the different variations of cold are obviously normal temperature again, and then it goes cold, very cold, extremely cold, and frostbite. So I should stop at extremely cold while wearing this armor. And there we go, we've gotten to extremely cold. We'll let that play out till it gets to at least negative 64 degrees. It's at negative 64 degrees, 65, and it's gonna continue to climb because I've got more cooling in this area than there is anywhere else on the Exiled Lands map. Now I could couple this with another piece of equipment, like if I use the shield, obviously it takes me all the way to cold. So I went from extremely cold, jumped over very cold, and just went directly to cold. So if we look at our insulation, you can see we have insulation of eight total bars. There's four and there's another four that gives us eight resistance to the cold. Now there's another thing that comes into play with this and I'll get into that in just a moment, but I wanted to show you some of the other armors. So as you can see, this is gonna give me heat resistant of two and that's gonna be on each piece of armor. So if we head back over here and we'll start warming up and I go into the inventory and just put this armor on, this gives us more heat resistance. And if we look at our stats, you can see we are all the way up to eight with just wearing this armor. Now that should mean that I don't go above hot. And you can see my temperature says it's 132 degrees Fahrenheit, but I haven't gone above hot. And then if I use the shield on top of that, it's gonna totally take that away and I'm going to be operating like I'm at normal temperature. And we'll go ahead and look at the stats. It's gonna be fully maxed out with 10 insulation to heat. Now, the other way that you can do this is actually by going into your attributes and putting points into survival. Now, this particular armor actually gives me points in survival. So we're going to remove this armor and we're going to replace it with the veneer settler. And let's go ahead and go back over here into the cold and while we're cooling off here, what I wanna to talk to you about is the attributes. So survival is going to give you more natural resistance to the elements. Doesn't matter whether it's hot or cold. And the first point that you are going to see that increase is once you get six points spent in survival. So if we look at our stats, you can see I have two, four, and six in cold resistance and I have a four in heat resistance. Let's go ahead and look, we are very cold right now. Let's go back over to the attributes and let's just put one, two, three, four, five, and six points into there. And if we go back to our stats, you can see now we're at five total points in heat resistance and we are at seven total points in cold resistance. Now that's taken us to very cold. Where it goes from there, it's six points for the first one. Where it goes from there is another 10 points. So every time you put 10 points on there, you're going to get another level of natural insulation. So if we go to 16 points, right, well, I'll show you at 15. So there's 15 if we go in our stats. If we look at it, it is currently six and then seven. And then if we come back here to the attributes, we put one more point in there and go back to stats. You can see it is still six here, but this is actually eight. So every 10 points from here on out is going to give you another set of natural resistance to the elements. And you can see it's gone up there. And if we go another 10, you'll be able to see that it is gone up again. And now we are just cold. So the survival isn't going to be the best way to get the insulation. It's really going to come down to the armor and the equipment that you're using. And the reason, again, why I say that is because if I remove this armor here and I come over to stats, even though it shows that we have a total of six insulation, we are extremely cold while we're not wearing armor. 
Now, something that I want to show you guys is that the points in survival are not as good as the armor that you wear. So the armor gives you better insulation than applying the points in survival. So if I go into my inventory here, we look at my attributes, I've just maxed out the amount of survival that I have. And if we look at our stats, you can see I have a six in cold resistance, but it says that I'm extremely cold. So what I actually want to do is go back into my attributes and just reset them. I want nothing in survival at all. And I'm going to put this armor on and that is going to give me a total of again, six in cold resistance. However, you're going to see that I'm very cold instead of being extremely cold. That's why I say that the armor actually does a better job of insulating you than the points in survival does. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm working on a set of videos where I talk about the different armors and I want you guys to understand the heat and cold insulation for those armors without having to explain it in each individual video. And this way, when you're going through that video and I'm showing you each one of those different armors and telling you how much heat and cold resistance it has, you'll understand how that works and how that affects your character. And I'll give you guys a little heads up. I've definitely found a few little things that are interesting when it comes to armor. And I'll get into that in those future videos. I want to know in the comments section below, do you like the new temperature system or are you still stuck on liking the older style temperature system? I personally like the new one, but I want to know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.